Baltimore's homicide numbers are outpacing last year's rate. Police say at least 127 people have been killed in the city so far. Several deadly shootings were reported in just the last day. People who know this tragedy all too well gathered today to send a message of peace and healing. WJZ is live tonight. Avajoy Burnett tells us more about how this particular group is using personal tragedy to send hope. Avajoy. Max, good evening to you. Some of these activists are just kids. Earlier today, we spoke with a teenager, and she knows what it feels like to lose a loved one because somebody else decided to pull a trigger. This weekend, anyone who drives by the space in Harlem Park will see flowing ribbons with a message to stop gun violence. This is a healing garden for people who live on after their loved ones were killed. The artists here are young people like Denia Burgess. My oldest sister, she was my mother's first child, and she she uh, died to gun violence. At a young age, she's become a champion of peace because of her personal tragedy. That's when I really like it, that really starts to hit me because at first I really didn't know what none of that was about. Saturday's gathering at Memory Creation Park in West Baltimore was part of the Wear Orange campaign that's happening nationwide. Groups across America are collaborating to stop the violence. In our area, an organization called Let's Thrive Baltimore is on a mission to provide therapy for kids who've lost a family member to a gun. There were so many groups for the adults who have lost their loved ones, but there was really nothing for the young people who had lost their loved ones to gun violence. Baltimore has at least 127 homicides so far this year, up from 121 at the same time last year. In the last 24 hours, at least three people have been shot and killed, a victim in his 20s, another in his 40s, and the third 61 years old. As the city tries to get a grip on the violence, here's a message from one of its youngest residents who was forced to deal with an untimely death. Baltimore wouldn't be a bad city if we all just act the same way and learn how to cooperate together. And everyone, we are just getting some new information, and there has been yet another homicide. This one in South Baltimore came in late this evening, so that brings a total in the last 24 hours to about four homicides here in the city of Baltimore. Earlier this week, federal, state, and local officials came together and announced that they will be pumping money into a new program to get guns off the street. And the hope here is that they will be targeting repeat offenders because they believe those are the folks who are fueling the violence here in the city of Baltimore. Live tonight, Average Roy Burnett for WJZ.